I think this is the best we can do. This is a dramatic view from the International Space Station looking back towards the Soyuz spacecraft. The two vehicles now moving over the northern Atlantic Ocean. details in our commentary. Maybe, you know what, why don't we just turn on the floodlight and be done with this? Okay, 92 meters. The two vehicles traveling at about 420 kilometers above the Earth, or about 260 statute miles. Didn't make things better. Maybe it's just us. Copy, Mikhail. And on the left, in pool, please um, don't forget to uh, preset the um, SSVP display. Uh, once we approach 50 meter mark. A beautiful view from the International Space Station. Looking ahead, the Soyuz spacecraft in view. The two vehicles just moments away from crossing over London. They're traveling at an altitude of about 418 kilometers above the Earth, 260 statute miles. Two vehicles closing in. Okay, we copy. Less than 50 meters separating the two vehicles and everything going well. They're using the course automated docking system on a, again on board the space station. The crew members all monitoring the activities, ready to use the manual docking mechanism if needed. We might need it, I don't know. The crosshairs are aligned. Uh, the roll adjustments done. Range is 22 meters. So we're breaking just a tiny bit. The range rate is uh, 0 decimal 12, 0 decimal 11, a little bit of a misalignment on the crosshairs, and a little bit of a roll. Less than 4 meters out, four, five, one tenth of a meter per second. About half of a thickness of a crosshair in misalignment. It, Sudan might adjust for it, but um, I think I would say we're good. Crosshairs aligned, no lateral of accelerations or rotations. Standing by for contact. Contact. Mechanical capture. Confirmed. And contact and capture confirmed. Docking confirmed for 4.27 a.m. Central Time. Everything's nominal, Moscow. We are home. We'll be standing by for the hooks and latches, but again, contact now confirmed between the two vehicles. That again occurring a little ahead of schedule at 4.27 a.m. Central Time. Way to go. Thank you. And thank you. You're also seeing a live view there from the Agat Hall in Baikonur, where friends, families, and VIP members have been watching the activities, everything going smoothly. That a very uh, impressive view of the Spo Soyuz spacecraft docking to the space station, that occurring as the vehicles were crossing over Germany at, uh, again, just a few moments ago, 4.27 a.m. Central Time. Six hours and 14 minutes was your ride. That's how long it was. Six and 14. Six hours and 14 minutes was the duration of the journey.